page 99. Lesson 8. A Game of Chance Before you read, have you ever won anything in a lucky dip or other such game of chance? Do you like such games? 1. Every year on the occasion of Eid, there was a fair in our village. Eid was celebrated only one day, but the fair lasted many days. Tradesmen from far and wide came there with all kinds of goods to sell. You could buy anything from a small pin to a big buffalo. Word in the box, page 99. Tradesmen, shopkeepers or people who have goods to sell. Page 100. 2. Uncle took me to the fair. Bhaiya, who worked for us at home, came with us. There was a big crowd at the fair. Uncle was leading us through the crowd when he met a few of his friends. They wanted him to spend some time with them. 3. Uncle asked me whether I would like to look around the fair with Bhaiya till he came back. I was happy to do that. Uncle warned me neither to buy anything nor to go too far out while he was away. I promised that I would wait for him. 4. Bhaiya and I went from shop to shop. There were many things I would have liked to buy. But I waited for uncle to return. Then we came to what was called the lucky shop. The shopkeeper was neither young nor old. He was a middle-aged man. He seemed neither too smart nor too lazy. He wanted everybody to try their luck. There were discs on the table with numbers from 1 to 10 facing down. All you had to do was to pay 50 paise, pick up any 6 discs, add up the numbers on the discs and find the total. The article marked with that number was yours. 5. An old man paid 50 paise and selected 6 discs. He added up the numbers on them and found the total was 15. He was given the article marked 15, which was a beautiful clock. Page 101 But the old man did not want a clock. The shopkeeper obliged him by buying it back for 15 rupees. The old man went away very pleased. 6. Then a boy, a little older than I, tried his luck. He got a comb worth 25 paise. The shopkeeper looked neither happy nor sad. He bought the comb from the boy for 25 paise. The boy tried his luck again. He now got a fountain pen worth 3 rupees. Then he tried a third time and got a wristwatch worth 25 rupees. When he tried again, he got a table lamp worth more than 10 rupees. The boy was happy and went away with a smile and a good deal of cash. 7. I wanted to try my luck too. I looked at Bhaiya. He encouraged me. I paid 50 paise and took 6 discs. My luck was not too good. I got two pencils. The shopkeeper bought them from me for 25 paise. I tried again. This time I got a bottle of ink, also of little value. The shopkeeper bought that too for 25 paise. I took a chance for the third time. Still, luck was not with me. 8. I had hopes of winning a big prize and continued to try my luck again and again paying 50 paise each time. But every time I got a trifle. At last I was left with only 25 paise. Again the shopkeeper showed his kindness. He said, either I could play once more with 25 paise or settle the account then and there. I played again and the last 25 paise also disappeared. New word in the box, page 101. A trifle means an object of little value. Page 102 9. 
People were looking at me. Some were laughing at my bad luck, but none showed any sympathy. Bhaiya and I went to the place where uncle had left us and waited for him to return. Presently, he came. He looked at me and said, Rashid, you look upset. What is the matter? 10. I did not say anything. Bhaiya told him what had happened. Uncle was neither angry nor sad. He smiled and patted me. He took me to a shop and bought me a beautiful umbrella, biscuits and sweets and some other little gifts. Then we returned home. Page 103 11. Back home, uncle told me that the lucky shop man had made a fool of me. No, uncle, I said. It was just my bad luck. No, my boy, said uncle. It was neither good luck nor bad luck. But, uncle, I said, I saw an old man getting a clock and a boy getting two or three costly things. You don't know, child, uncle said. They were all friends of the shopkeeper. They were playing tricks to tempt you to try your luck. They wanted your money and they got it. Now forget about it and don't tell anybody of your bad luck working with the text. A. Complete the following sentences from memory choosing a phrase from those given in brackets. 1. Blank was held at the time of the Eid festival. And the words are a big show, a big fair, a big competition. 2. Tradesmen came to the village with all kinds of goods blank. Words are to display, to buy, to sell. Page 104 3. Uncle told me blank while he was away. Not to buy anything, not to go anywhere, not to talk to anyone. 4. The owner of the lucky shop wanted everybody present blank to play the game to win a prize to try their luck 5 the first time i took a chance i got blank a bottle of ink two pencils a trifle 6 uncle told me that the shopkeeper had made blank a fool of me a good profit friends with many people b answer the following questions 1. Why do you think Rashid's uncle asked him not to buy anything in his absence? 3. 2. Why was the shop called Lucky Shop? 4. 3. An old man won a clock and sold it back to the shopkeeper. How much money did he make? 5. 4. How many prizes did the boy win? What were they? 6. 5. Why was Rashid upset? 7. 8. 9. 6. In what way did the shopkeeper make a fool of Rashid? 11. Working with language. 1. The words given against the sentences here can be used both as nouns and verb. Use them appropriately to fill in the blanks. 1. A. The two teams have blank three matches already. B. The last day's blank was excellent. Page 105. 2. A. She has a lovely blank face. B. India blank a number of problems these days. 3. A. He made his blank in essay writing mark. B. Articles, blank, sold, are reserved. 4. A. The police are, blank, the area to catch the burglars, comb. 2. An ordinary plastic, blank, costs 5 rupees. 5. A. He gave a, blank, in answer to my question, smile. B. We also, blank, to see him smile. 6. A. He said he blank to be invited to the party. 
hope. 2. B. We gave up blank of his joining the party. 7. A. The boys put up a good athletic blank show. B. The soldiers blank great courage in saving people from floods. 8. A. You deserve a blank on the back for your good performance. Pat. B. The teacher blank the child on the cheek to encourage her. B. Notice the use of there in the following sentences. 1. There was a big crowd at the fair. 2. There were many things I'd have liked to buy. Now, rewrite the following sentences using there in the beginning. Look at the following examples. 1. I can do nothing to help you. 2. There is nothing I can do to help you. Page 106. 3. A man at the door is asking to see you. 4. There is a man at the door asking to see you. 1. This park has beautiful roses. 2. Your story has no fun in it. 3. We have no secrets between us. 4. My village has two primary schools. 5. This problem can be solved in two ways. C. Fill in the blanks in the paragraph given with words from the box. The words are huge, big, foolish, interesting, tiny, unlucky, last. There was a blank Eid fair in our village. We could buy anything from a blank toy to a blank camel. I went to the fair on its blank day with uncle and bhaiya. He went to the lucky shop. It was very blank. I tried my luck but did not win any prize. Later, uncle told me that I was more blank than blank. Speaking and reading aloud. A. 1. Suppose you are Rashid. Describe in your own words your visit to the fair. Do not refer to the lucky shop. 2. Read aloud the two paragraphs that describe the boy and the old man at the lucky shop. Page 107 3. Listen to these children. What are they talking about? Boy 1. Would you like tea or coffee? Boy 2. I don't like coffee. I'd prefer tea. Boy 3. I'd prefer coffee. Thank you. B. Work in pairs. One of you is an agent and the other is a client looking for accommodation in a hotel. Talk to each other. Use the clues given below. Agent. What sort of accommodation would you prefer? Would you like your own room or would you like to share a room? Would you like a room with a television? Do you need to hire a car? What sort of location are you interested in? Have you any other requirements? Client I'd rather prefer a blank. I'd like blank. I don't think I'd like blank. Yes, I do want blank. No thanks, I don't need blank. No, I'd prefer blank. I'd like to stay in blank. Yes, I must have blank. Yes, give me blank. No, no other requirements. Page 108. Dictation 1. Some words are given here. Listen carefully to the word from the list the teacher speaks and write against it another word that has the same pronunciation but different spelling. The first is an example. Fair F A I R Fair F A R E Now you have to write for by one which two no here see there hair 